I really thought it was storming the Bastille, that, that we would be dead and the house would be burned. And There was no reason whatsoever uh, for them to, to, to be out there in an aggressive, confrontational way. Tonight, both sides of a controversial confrontation in the Central West End are defending their actions. Good evening. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. People across the country are weighing in on the encounter, which had a couple pointing guns at protesters outside their home. But did they commit a crime? Our Jenna Barnes is live tonight with what she learned. Jenna? Yeah, and the couple says the protesters broke down this gate to get into the neighborhood, and you can see it is damaged, but the protesters say the gate was open when they came through. I talked to a constitutional law professor who says the critical piece of this happened beyond the gate. New video shows the tense moments Patricia McCloskey and her husband Mark pointed guns at protesters outside their Central West End home Sunday night. Protesters say they were on their way to Mayor Lida Krusen's house to demand her resignation when the McCloskeys came out of their mansion armed. We must protect the rights to peacefully protest and any attempts to chill it through intimidation or use of force will not be tolerated. Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner released a video statement Monday promising action. And I will use every extent of Missouri law to hold individuals accountable. But experts say Missouri law may actually support the McCloskeys. A lot of people are not familiar with Missouri's castle doctrine, which we have extended to real properties. SLU constitutional and criminal law professor Anders Walker says Missouri's castle doctrine is more robust than other states, meaning people can use deadly force to protect not only their home, but also their land. He says the private Portland place where the McCloskeys live counts. I think that those streets are owned collectively and it's essentially like walking on the private land. And that means, in his view, the protesters who on a public street would be practicing their First Amendment rights were the ones breaking the law. So there's actually one no right to protest and then the protesters themselves are trespassing. You may have seen some text on the screen during the new video of this encounter. We want to let you know that is commentary and it is the photographers, not ours. Tonight, we've seen a couple of private security cars drive by the couple's home, but so far, all is quiet here. Live in the Central West End, Jenna Barnes, five on your side.